Hi guys, my name is Josh Davis, personal trainer here at Sam Pier Park Health Club and Spa in Guernsey. Today I'm going to be running you through a 20 minute high intensity class, body weight class. So all you will need is a mat, a drink of water and a towel should you choose to want one. We're going to start off with a light warm up. The warm up will consist of six squats, four lunges and two inchworms of which we're going to do three rounds, okay? So let's get started. Nice and simple, into the squats. One, two, three. From the squats to the lunges, we can look at a forward lunge. Knee touches the ground. And four, and then into your inchworms. Hands come down, lead yourself to the ground, chest to floor, and we push back up. Nice and easy, you can find a little bit of flexion through the spine here. It doesn't have to be rigid like a press up. And two, that's one complete round. We come back to the six squats. One, side profile, nice flat back, hitting good squat depth. Five, and six, from there lunges. If you cannot do a forward lunge, do not worry. Come into your rear lunge alternative. The knee should still touch the floor. Back into the inchworms for two. Chest to floor, stand up tall. Perfect. Well done, guys. Last round for the warm up. Into our squats. One, two, four, five, and six. We find our lunges one more time. So, from the front with your lunges, you want to keep the knee away from the midline of the body. Don't let your knees cave in. And then the inchworms. Bring it down. Perfect, stand tall and again. Nice work guys. Warm up complete, short and sharp. Let's move on to our six minute EMOM. If you're unfamiliar with the terminology, an EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. We're going to be doing 10 press ups and 20 mountain climbers for six minute running clock. So we have to perform those movements within the minute before the timer beeps. And once we've completed the movements, we get to rest for the remainder of the time. So we start off with our press ups. If 10 press ups is too much for you, you can modify to eight. Or you can perform your press ups from your knees, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so we're going to get started. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From your ten press ups, twenty mountain climbs. Twenty. Don't worry if you haven't performed your movements as fast as I have. We've still got 30 seconds of rest now. That's perfect. So you can almost treat this EMOM like it's a battle workout or interval training as it were. So for example, if the work, if the exercises take you 20 seconds to complete, you're gonna get 40 seconds rest. If the exercises take you 55 seconds to complete, you're gonna get five seconds rest. Let's get ready to come back into these movements now, guys. We've got three, two, one. Back into the press-ups, round two of six. Four, remember you can substitute those press-ups on the knees. Bring the body forward, hips flat, chest to floor and press. Keep the elbows relative to the body line. Don't let the elbows push out, nice and steady. And from here, we've got our mountain climbers. One, two. Well done. If you find that you're really flying through this EMOM, you can pick up your repetitions. You can do 12 press ups and 30 mountain climbers, okay? Let's try that for the next round. Or you can stay exactly where you are. It's your choice. I'm giving you alternatives here for difficulty levels. Three, two, one. We're coming into the press ups. Ten, eleven, 
12, 30 mountain climbers for this one, 7, 10, let's see where that lands us. again on that 30 seconds so if you find that you can stick to a time like if you're landing on 25 30 seconds with each round and try and push for that try and stick with that make that your goal if not don't worry just do your best to complete that movements within the minute okay we've got 10 seconds okay we're coming back in three two and one we're into the fourth round And the mountain climbers. Good work, guys. Well done. Well done. Make sure that you move well. Just because we're moving fast doesn't mean that we should forget about our form, okay? Keep the hips nice and high in the mountain climbers. Keep your elbows relative to the shoulder line in your press ups and make sure that you're concentrating on your form throughout this workout, okay? Just because we move fast does not mean that we move badly, all right? And if you happen to substitute speed for form, much rather you do that. So we're coming back in, fifth round, three, two, one, let's go. Oh yeah. Very good, very good. So we're still hitting that 30 seconds. Well done if you're keeping up. Don't worry if you're not. Okay guys, just do your best. Chip away now, chip away. Small little drink. Final round, sixth minute. Let's go. Let's work for these reps now. Good job. If you're still working, keep working. If not, take your breather to the end of this minute and I'll explain the next portion of the workout. Keep going, guys. Well done. Good job. We've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Time. Good effort, guys. Great effort. See you there? Six minutes, it's a great way of building volume through workouts, through bodyweight workouts, maximizing on your time, making sure that you're getting the most out of the workout, okay? So we're looking at, you know, we just did 60 press ups, 120 mountain climbers, happy days, happy, happy days. Right, we're gonna look next at a 10 minute AMRAP. Again, if you're not familiar with the terminology AMRAP, it stands for as many rounds as possible, in some cases as many reps as possible. In this case, we're gonna look at rounds. So we've got three movements, okay? We've got a squat, we have a power lunge, we have a burpee. So, our standard metric, okay, for the squat. Hips below the knee crease. Our, our lunge in this instance is gonna be a power lunge, so it's a jumping lunge. Here, knee down, knee down, okay? Try not to bash your knees if you can help it. If you can't jump, I just want you to hit that standard lunge, okay? Or alternatively, you can hit the rear lunge. It's your choice. And then we have 
Everyone's favorite, one of my favorites, the burpee, okay? We'll come down. So, I want you to imagine, draw a circle around your feet. Place your hands within that circle, kick the feet back. The chest comes down to the floor. You push up, explode, and drop, okay? You can modify the burpee. You can come down, you can walk it out. You can bring it down to the ground, and you can walk it back up. Remove the jump, okay? So your modifications are your standard lunge, no jumping, and your standard burpee where you don't jump, you just bring it down, no impact, okay? So we're gonna put 10 minutes on the clock here, guys. We're gonna do as many rounds as we can, and then that 10 minutes, we're gonna go really sweaty, really fired up. And don't be surprised if you feel a little bit sick with the burpees, okay? It's perfectly normal. Right, let's get after it. So 10 minutes on the clock, three, two, one, and we go. Start with the squats, one, two. Again, don't forget your form. But move with purpose. Into those power lunges. One, two. You can use the mat if you're scared about banging your knees. And then we look at the burpees, okay? Control your heart rate. This is really important with sections like this. Don't let your heart rate skyrocket. Okay, keep it controlled, keep it level. Chest to floor, jump, and a little jump at the top, yeah? It's all about being as economical as possible. Don't treat the bottom of it like a press up. Relax into the, into the bottom of the movement and explode through the top. With four, five, well done guys, keep it going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! One round down, just under a minute and a half. If you're struggling with the burpees, drop the repetitions. Bring it down to six and keep the others as they are. We're going to keep moving, guys, back into the squats. One, two, it's all about managing that heart rate. Four, five, be in control of your breathing. Look into those power lunges again, guys. Do your best to get that knee down, okay? Don't bang the knee, but just do your best to keep a full range of motion. Go back into the burpees. I'm not scared, you are. One. Two, remember to explode up from the ground. Big explosive movement. Drive the feet underneath you. If you're catching your feet too far behind, here, you need to push a lot harder, drive the knees up and through. Okay, it's gonna give you that surge to stand up tall. You minimize that footprint underneath you. Remember I said about the circle? Stay within it. Nice work. Let's keep going now, guys. Ten. There's our ten squats done. We're into the power lunges. Remember, your standard lunges here is an alternative. Okay? Don't feel like you have to be jumping around like me if your knees don't like it or if you're new to this kind of workout. Build your tolerance, okay? Nice. 
and we're into the burpees again. Talking about building the tolerance, you have your options, your modifications. You come down, you walk it out, relax to the ground, push back and stand, okay? There's no problem with this modification. This builds you in to getting used to the full burpee. And for those of you doing the full, keep chipping away. Just keep working.
three, four, five. Let's go, guys. We're nearly done. Six. Session once your once your heart rate's decreased and tune in for the next one. Thanks so much. <laughs>